there's a kind of thinking which I call dustbin thinking. In other words, that thought belongs in the dustbin. <laughs> there are many things. I'm going to talk about one. One thing that relates to chanting japa that needs to go in the dustbin. Now, this may sound funny to some of you, that you may actually be thinking this way and not even realize it. It may be so subtle, you don't actually know that you're thinking this way. Some devotees have told me, and I have observed, that in, sub, some, in some subconscious way, they are preventing themselves from chanting as well as they could because they are afraid if they really chant well, they're going to become more detached than they can handle. They're going to become more spiritually advanced than they can handle. They're going to become too Krishna. I don't know. I'm going to be too Krishna conscious. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Yes, you're saying, really? And I'm saying, yes, really. And I'm asking you, do you think you've ever done this? Now, you may say, no, I haven't. Fine. Turn the video off. Watch another one. But do you think there's a possibility that you could be thinking this way? Or you think, oh, my Govinda, I have thought that way, or I do think that way. Let's talk about, let's talk about this. The paradox of this is you can't be advanced to a stage that you can't handle. Because coming to that stage is a byproduct of being, it's a natural byproduct of your advancement. So it's, it's where you want to be, it's where you have to be. Specifically, devotees are afraid of becoming too detached. If I'm this detached, I can't handle it. Or what will I do if I, if I lose interest in this or that? I don't want to lose interest in this or that. It doesn't work that way. It's not artificial. If you lose interest in something, it's a byproduct of your advancement. It happens naturally, not by force. Renunciation is a byproduct of spiritual advancement. It's a basic principle of Krishna consciousness. So you should never be afraid that you couldn't handle a certain level of renunciation as long as it's natural. If it's artificial, okay, it makes sense, artificial. I'm pushing myself, I'm forcing myself to come to this higher stage but I'm not actually on that stage. So I'm not going to be able to maintain it, and maybe I'll be suffering to some degree or miserable to some degree trying to maintain it because it's not my nature. I'm not ready. I'm not there yet. Okay, that, that's understood. We follow in the footsteps. We don't imitate. But if I improve my chanting, I will naturally become more Krishna conscious and therefore I'll naturally become more renounced. So therefore I can handle it because I'll naturally be there. It's not artificial. So we should never be afraid of improving our sadhana with the fear that what if I become too detached? Because if you become detached, it won't be too detached. It will be natural. It's just where you will be because of your natural advancement which is being caused by your ability to go more deeply into chanting the holy name. So don't worry that you become too Krishna conscious too fast. That is an impossibility. You can't be too Krishna conscious too fast because when you get there, you're there because that's where you're supposed to be and that's where you'll want to be. And you won't think, oh, I'm too Krishna conscious. I need to get out of here. It's not being forced on you. It's coming because you're elevated. So... I know some of you think, oh, this, I don't know, do devotees really think that way? Yes, they do. And guess what? You may be thinking that way, and you don't even realize it. Hare Krishna. So think about it. <laughs> think if you're thinking that way. Or maybe you know someone else who's thinking that way, and you can enlighten them. Hare Krishna. <laughs>